All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another quick little channel CGE video. Today I am going to be, actually I'm not really sure what I'm doing today. I kind of like, I know, but I don't. Does that make any sense? One thing I know I'm going to be talking about though at some point today is this thing, the DTS. We replaced the head gaskets in this car over the past a long time. It's taken a really long time. And it made kind of like a four or five part video series out of it. And I'll link the playlist up in the corner, or this corner. One of these corners. And I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on it, but I'm going to be like a professional vlogger and save whatever the clickbaity thumbnail is till later in the video. So then you're either going to be forced to watch the random crap I do throughout the day, or you're going to be like me and you're going to skip ahead in the video. But anyways, I think first thing I'm going to do today, it's, I was under the impression it was going to be sunny out today and like somewhat nice, but nope, it's like 50 and it's rainy. Lucky me, right? Anyways, that go-kart, which I've shown in videos before, it's my 11 horsepower carter with the full suspension. It's got 11 horse uh, Tecumseh motor on it. I've been actually trying to sell it for reasons, which you'll find out about later. I actually got a guy that's going to be coming this next week. He's driving from like an hour away and he's going to come look at it and it sounds pretty promising. He may end up buying it. So since he's driving from an hour away and since I know what it's like to drive like an hour or more away, for a Craigslist deal. I want to make this go as smooth as possible, so I'm going to bring the cart down out back. Even though it's rainy and nasty, I'm going to bring it out back and power wash it a little bit and clean up the front wheels, and I'm going to spray paint them really quick because I painted the rear wheels and I got lazy and I never painted the front ones. But yeah, let's go power wash this sucker. Oh, I hate this weather so much. Oh, um, I'm going to get really wet if I sit in that. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Let's see if this thing will start without a choke. I have a feeling it's probably going to need it, but... My butt is so wet right now. It's fine because I didn't feel like driving this all the way over there, but at the same time, I have to walk all the way over there to get stuff to work on it here. I think my logic is flawed. Well, now I can't even get freaking masking tape to stick on there because the tire's damp. So you know what? I'm going to prime the wheels anyways. Primer's black, so I don't really care. Hey, you know what? A glossy black would actually look pretty freaking cool. I don't know, something to think about. All right, and here it is with all four wheels done in primer. I'm honestly starting to like the gloss black look. Of course, this isn't gonna stay gloss because it's primer, but I might just have to keep that. If you watched the last S10 video, you would know that got the motor and the transmission bolted back up together because the clutch and the flywheel are all installed. Here it is all bolted together. I'm sorry it's so dark in here, by the way. But one issue that I have is I'm missing one transmission bolt. There was originally some ground wire for something attached to one of the transmission bolts and when we were pulling everything out for the first time I had to pull one of the bolts out so that I could unplug it and get it out. I've been looking around for the past couple days on and off and I cannot find that bolt for the life of me so that's another thing that I'm gonna get over tractor supply. I'm gonna pull one more of the bolts out so I can bring it with me to get the right size. Engine is not exactly very secure at the moment so gotta be careful. There we go. Went to Tractor Supply and got that bolt for the tranny for the S10. Found one that'll work. They also got, for the go-kart, I got some pool noodles. If you didn't notice before, uh, there's pool noodles on the cart. I'll show you in just a minute, but some of them are ripped up and I decided to pick these up. They're not the exact um, 
probably not going to be an exact match, but they'll be good enough. But yeah, if you look here on the cart, these are actually all pool noodles. Rather than actually painting it, I actually got this idea from the previous owner of the cart. They had done this as well. Rather than going all out and painting the frame, take pool noodles and just cut a slit in them and then throw some zip ties around them. Really, really brilliant idea. So I followed suit and I actually replaced all the noodles this last summer and put some blue ones on as well, which is kind of cool. But as you can see, they're starting to get tore up. I mean, obviously they're not gonna last very long, but if the deal happened to fall through or something and I was able to keep it, I think what I would do is this summer I would keep the wheels like they are. The black, which I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna keep them black by the way. And I would go all out and actually paint all the frame rails and everything like a red. Not just like a ugly fluorescent red, I'm talking like a, like a, kinda like the color of that car. Except, of course, with Rust-Oleum. <laughs> but anyways, for now what we're gonna do is just throw these new pool noodles on here and then I'm going to finish painting the wheels. Well, just replacing those that were really beat up helped a little. I might try to replace that one over there, but anyways, that's good enough for now. So now, let's finish getting the wheels painted up. All right, set a timer for about 15 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna come back out really quick and maybe do one more coat. I gotta tell you though, that looks pretty freaking cool. Anyways, while I wait, it's time to go get another coffee. All right guys, well, about 15 minutes later and one coffee later, wheels are still not dry. And I think it's probably because it's freaking nasty out. So I think while I wait a little bit longer, I'm going to um, put that bolt that I bought in the transmission of the S10 and get them all torqued down. Right, and here's the new bolt I got. It's not exactly the same. It's not a uh, grade eight or whatever this is. It'll do. Right, I just torqued all the bolts down. Something I just remembered is the dust shield here for the flywheel and stuff. It goes along the bottom. I need to reattach that. So I need to look for that. Of course, get it all cleaned up and painted and stuff like that as well. So let's see if I can uh, find it in here. Boy, it's a, it's a mess. I need to pull things out of here and, and kind of reorganize. Aha, I found it. Definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit though. Well, that's a little better, but I kind of got paint all over the floor. All right, guys, I think I'm finally done with the wheels for today. They look a lot better, but, you know, it's not perfect. At least it cleaned things up a little better. Still going to probably work the rest of the weekend and do a few things on and off of the cart just to get it ready in case it does sell. If not, it's for myself then. <laughs> All right guys, now for the moment I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, what's going on with the DTS? Now mind you, this is just a quick little update. There's gonna be a full video about what's going on with it here in, I would say the next week or two. But as you know, the car got running, it's, it's all, it's done. It's really, it's done. It runs and drives perfectly fine, but we are having some serious issues with the computer and the check engine light. Cannot get the engine light to go off, so therefore it won't pass inspection in we can't drive it on the road again yet. So the computer keeps throwing a code for a random misfire. We thought it could be a number of things and originally we thought the timing was slightly off and we dove back into the motor and actually tried to fix the timing and we did get it fixed 
but there's still a random misfire code and we tried a bunch of different things, tried replacing the coils actually, all the coils. Took it to a local mechanic to have him check on the computers and see if he could like relearn the computer or something like that. I don't, I don't know any of the specific details and we'll get, like I said, we'll explain more of this in a future video, but long story short, we took it to a local mechanic. He couldn't figure it out either. Possibly the timing chains need to be replaced because, I don't know, they stretched over time or something and now that everything's been taken apart and put back together, it's causing it to throw a code. So the next step is we're going to actually take it to a Cadillac dealer. I think that's the plan now, so at least it'll be back on the road finally after actually over nine months. I think that's what's going to happen next, but like I said, you guys are going to see it in a future video. It's just, it's it's being a pain. But anyways guys, I guess that's going to conclude this quick little channel CG video. I'm sorry, you know, it was a little on the boring side. I didn't, like I said before, I didn't expect it to be so nasty out today. I would have done more, but got a lot of random things done. Got to mess around with go-kart a little, clean it up, and I was glad to get that done. Got a lot of delayed video projects at the moment, so in the near future, like I've said before, like I always, I feel like all I do is promise cooler videos and never come out with them, but I promise very soon we'll be coming out with some better videos as well. Anyways guys, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, and comment down below if you like these afternoon in the life videos, because it's kind of nice to throw them together every once in a while. Anyways guys, again, thanks for watching, you rock, God bless, and I will see you in the next one, peace out.